Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Monday. It's Monday, and the market, you know what? The market is seriously going crazy, growing crazy, but we expect that to happen. Uh, we seriously expect that to happen. But if you're not, uh, if you're not uh, subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Uh, if you are not new the, uh, to this channel, uh, welcome back. Uh, I really appreciate your support, guys. Get funded with Traders Central to kickstart your trading career and make the profit that you deserve. And you will get access to Trading View, my FX book, and many more. And enjoy Traders Central ecosystem and so much more on their marketplace. Link in my description. Uh, check the link, then you will start to enjoy more of the funding. Thanks. So I'm just going to start with oil, oil, oil. We can see oil is going crazy. Let me reduce this. Let's see what's really happening. This is a four hour time frame, but it seems like it's an hour time frame. So if you still remember, or if maybe let's say you watched my previous video, a weekly analysis, which I did yesterday, I think you remember very well that the market was around this area on Friday, actually the Friday, before the market closed, the market was here. But look what happened. Look what happened. Remember yesterday or maybe days before I said the market might reach 50, 150, 150 dollars before we see a very strong sell off. But I still think maybe the market is still going to push the upside. But I think that 50 is way, way very too. It's very close, guys. It's very close. So why? Uh, what can we do actually? Uh, it's not easy to trade uh, something which is way too like strong bullish like this because it's no longer easy for us to do it to draw those trends line and stuff like this but what we can do is we can you see we can wait for the market to reach this area maybe if it reaches this area we can say you know what it's our time again to buy why because oil it's like on demand like high and low so you know what's really happening russia and ukraine those things they push a uh, higher to the uh, oil to the uh, to the higher side why because if they say they're no longer going to like let's say germany uh stopped like oil from or natural gas from uh, russia uh, it's going to make the demand to go higher especially for oil so that's why we're going to see oil go into the moon but what we can do is if you trade oil wait for a small rejection wait for a small rejection i can't say the market will actually reach this area but there's possibility for the market to reach there because we don't have a support area or a, a place where we can say this is a very strong support where we can say we can buy it means what you can do is when the market is pushing lower like that don't just jump on the market what you can do is maybe try to place some buy pending orders above your market price then when the market is going to it's going back again or it's bouncing back again it's going to find your order ready and it's going to be activated then if it goes in profit or in your favor then you're going to make that profit simple as that but the best thing that i can tell you is learn to wait as a trader you should learn to wait don't just go on the market just to trade each and every day firstly tell yourself that i'm just going to do the analysis then after when you see something it's where you can act but when there is no opportunity like at the moment we know we all know that the market is going to the upside but do you see the, a, an opportunity at the moment i don't unless if the market is going to sell off like that i can say we can have some pending orders and if it keeps going lower we will just keep adjusting those buy pending orders so that they are not really far from where the market price is simple as that but there is i don't see a buy opportunity or a sell opportunity why because the market doesn't have that structure that we can say it supports very nicely usually but mm, i hope maybe you understand let's move to the next one the best thing that you can do as a trader as a trader learn to wait learn to wait for other things to happen before you act if you just go up and down in the market uh 
one way or another you just go into experience some way too bad experience in the market because if you don't know how to wait you always you always want to pull the trigger that that is the problem you have to play away from there just make learn to wait and learn to wait for the market to confirm other things before you jump in so now we are on us data us data is quite straightforward uh, if you watched my previous video we were on a on this uh, bearish momentum or like you can see it's resistant the market was respecting this area very nicely then we have a nice breakout and we have a retest but it seems like the market is no longer going to respect this area do you see that the market broke out of this area then is trying to do it to come back again but i drawn this uh, to show you that this is what i saw as a ranging market do you see that and it seems like the market is coming back around that area. And if you still remember, I said we don't really trade on, on ranging market because anything can happen. So what we can do is we can maybe follow the trend, wait for a buy trend or a sell trend. When I say buy trend, I mean uptrend, something like this, or maybe a downtrend. So what, do we, what I'm trying to show you is if maybe we were on a downtrend like this one, you can see it's clear. We we're just supposed to do what to sell, sell, sell. So, sorry, if we, we, we are on a ranging market like this, what do we do? We just wait. Unless if maybe you just want to scallop around this area. But remember, that is not really safe in the market. The thing that you can do is wait for the market to show you maybe start to create a bullish momentum or maybe an uptrend. Or maybe if the market is going to try to create maybe another bearish momentum like that then it's where we it's where we can say you know what yes we can just jump on the market yeah but i see people maybe they're waiting for something like this this maybe they see this and say kenzo don't you think maybe the market can go up yes we, the market can go up from there we see that this was a level where we said maybe the market is going to respect but it seems like the market is seriously violating that so let me try sorry let me try to draw something you can see here let's say yeah around this area let's say maybe this is a fake break breakout we will see what's really happening after this but even if the market is going to go up it doesn't mean that the market is going to reach this area perfectly as this is just arranging the market can just consolidate around and that it means the market is still brewing something the market is still cooking something then after that something when it's done we will see the market maybe dropping like seriously crazy or maybe you will see the market trying to recover simple as that the best thing is uh, with at this time i think this time is so many people they're going to learn how to trade smart uh, because we have so much stuff going on right uh, then when the market cools off maybe when everything is calm when there is no war when there is no pandemic and stuff like that it's where you will understand these things right okay i used to see the market doing stuff like that when the market is come down you're going to just respect the market and you will remember those days like i'm talking about these days you will remember about these days how the market used to move right so let's move to the next one which is nasdaq 100 if you're not subscribed by this time guys please smash that subscribe button uh, like with your friends so uh, what, what what's what, what's really happening on 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 nasdaq so on nasdaq yesterday on sunday i've thrown something like this i for you to see that oh this thing is on a downtrend we saw this and if i still remember thursday friday i did send a sell signal which went the other way around before the market uh, pushed lower you see but my my view on this i think the market is still going to push lower why i say so because i see that we have an area let's let me just remove this we have an area here do you see this thing do you see this area and the market used to respect that area so now the market broke out of that and we see a small recovery that recovery is not like a serious recovery that you can like uh, still, like you can, you don't have to trust that sort of recovery. Don't expect the market to push up from there. What might happen? It might be something like a small rejection before we see another push, because the market won't just go straight down. It might be something like this. Look at what happened here. Do you see that? 
something like that so even here it might be trying to form something like that so be like extra careful when maybe you want to trade stuff like that stuff like this why because we are actually on a downtrend so we should expect the market to go to the lower side so the only mistake or the, the good mistake that you can do is maybe if you just sell anywhere from this area yes you're going to have those rejections but but still the market might be in your favor that is the uh, the, the the good thing when you trade with the with the trend when you trade when you follow the trend as they say trend is your friend so what's really happening is i'm expecting the market to reach 13,000 here then from this area i will be expecting the market to show us some small recovery or maybe we are still going to see some very serious sell-off because i was watching uh, i also checked uh, german 30 or german 40 whoa that thing really sold guys that thing really sold so it means the market is taking a hit remember it's germany it's germany and remember uh, they did stop uh, uh, crude oil from let's say oil from russia and that may be starting to affect their economy also so you should know about that so sell it's way like too good actually if you trade is a german trade. if you're just selling obviously you killed it i hope you're making some cash so please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button this is my overview for today i hope maybe you'll find it uh, if i did some mistakes or maybe if you find out maybe if you think something is not really okay guys yeah uh, take that uh, maybe with a grain of salt because we we do things differently we won't do these things uh, the same way i'm not perfect anyway uh, i'm just a trader but i'm a pro trader my analysis might help you to improve the way you trade so the aim is for you to combine whatever that i'm doing here and combine that with your your way of doing things maybe that might try to improve the way you see things in the market i'm also a student of the market thank you this is kenzo extra hot forex have a good one bye